the swordfish as they rise toward the surface frequently do tend to rise closer to the drop off. You go out here 15 miles and it's been around a thousand feet deep for the last five or six miles and then all of a sudden it drops from a thousand to two thousand in less than a mile and in the daytime those fish will settle down frequently into 1400 to 2000 feet well when they rise back up at night uh, there's more opportunity to move in shallower depending on currents and stuff and a lot of times especially the smaller swordfish you'll find up on the hill now one of the important things that happens with nighttime sword fishing is is that those swordfish that come up out of the depths start to interact with tinker mackerel and when they're finding tinker mackerel on a regular basis they're finding them in shallower so a lot of times at night the fish will move in shallower because of the tinker mackerel as far as why day or night nowadays you're going to get one or two bites at night and one or two bites during the day on the average and at night they're going to be 50 60 70 pounds with a rare monster and in the daytime a much higher percentage of fish that are 200 to three or four hundred pounds so you might as well go for the big guys the downside to it is is that when you get a bite in the daytime it's one bait and it's a quarter to a half a mile away so you have to get really lucky on the bite and then you're going to wind in a lot of line before it becomes hand-to-hand -hand combat at night you fish four baits you don't have to worry about them getting chewed up as much and it's drifting with the elements so you can put your feet up and wait for the clicker to go off so the daytime is very 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 del uh, technical very concentrated fishing nighttime is kick your feet back and relax but the daytime produces bigger fish and uh not, to all of us that's pretty much important how big was that 400 pounder we caught last week compared to catching a 40 pounder so that's got a lot to do with it do you, do you use the same baits day and night bouncer no we use almost all the time we use squid at night and we fish some live baits or tinker mackerel stuff like that daytime you want a bait that they can beat we last week we had one bite all day he beat on the bait three or four times before he ever ate it and then we boat over the rod gunned the boat in reverse peeling out drag and he came off we waited a minute or so and he hit the bait and we waited another minute and he hit it again and he waited another minute and we're taking the bait away from him, dropping back to him and everything and he finally ate it again and he was hooked solid in the corner of the jaw and and the bait was still in very good condition if we'd have been using a squid we never would have got that many shots at him so the durability of the bait in the daytime is because you like i said before you got one line down and it's a quarter to a half a mile away so you got to have something that you can depend on to stay there for a while in the very center of the belly of of a bonita a kingfish a dolphin a barracuda uh, snake head, whatever it is, that center belly bait is really, really hard to beat. And then okay. we put a skirt over it for extra durability.